Good morning. 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 Dean Almeida, Rabbi Bear, distinguished guests, faculty, parents, family, friends, and graduating students. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 62nd Tripaya Exercises of the McDonough School of Business. I'm Patricia Grant, Senior Associate Dean for the Undergraduate Program. And today, we assemble to honor our students for their academic achievements and service to the community. As we celebrate your achievements here today, it is important to recall the Jesuit principle of women and men for others, and our goal to educate the whole person. As these suggest, we at Georgetown are just as interested in helping you develop character and find your purpose in life, as in guiding you intellectually and professionally. Like a lighthouse, I know you will be beacons for excellence in business. We congratulate you on your achievements, and I am enormously and personally proud of each of you for what you have accomplished during your time at Georgetown. Thank you for smiling. <laughs> Please all re uh, stand for the invocation to be offered by Rabbi Benjamin Baer. In the midst of celebration, of marking so many accomplishments and so much deserved praise, we pause to savor the moments, the relationships, and the struggle that has brought us to this day. We are so incredibly proud of these students. Their awards speak to their hard work, their discipline, and to their intelligence. We also pause to renew and rededicate ourselves to the highest values of this place, because Georgetown has never been about only providing a world-class education. Rather, we recognize that the degree to which we live in concert with our deepest convictions and in response to the greatest needs of our world will determine whether our lives continue to be full of meaning and purpose. I invite you to close your eyes as I offer a brief prayer. God, give them a quiet heart, a peaceful heart, a humble heart. Teach them to be gentle with themselves so that they may be gentle with others. Teach them to be patient with themselves so that they may be patient with others. Teach them kindness and gratitude strength and forgiveness, trust and faith. To praise, not to be praised. To bless, not to be blessed. To glorify, not to be glorified. To extol, not to be extolled. To sanctify, not to be sanctified. Baruch Ata, Hamelamed et derech hanava. Blessed are you who teaches us the path of humility. Amen. Please be seated. We will begin our ceremony today with the presentation of awards to students for their academic excellence. Each award recognizes the extraordinary efforts of students in the major areas of business studies. These awards are given as a tribute to our students with the generous support of individuals and organizations with close ties to Georgetown University and the McDonough School of Business. We thank all of them and acknowledge their continued support. We will begin with Professor Kirsten Anderson, who will present the awards in accounting. Professor Anderson. Thank you, Dean Grant. <clears throat> Please hold your applause until all of the accounting recipients have been recognized. Will the all awardees please ascend the stage on my right and descend on my left? Will the following graduates please come forward and remain on stage until the accounting awards have been completed? Michael Gennaro Castagna, Yasaswini Dandu, Yan Ling Liu, Abigail Regan Lake, Elizabeth Madison Miriam Morris, Maria Chiaquinto, and Joshua Goldstein.
This year, the Deloitte Award for Accounting Excellence is awarded to Michael Gennaro Castagna. After graduation, Michael will pursue his master's in accounting at Vanderbilt University, and then will start work as an assurance associate at PwC in New York. The George Houston Accounting Achievement Award, donated by the late former professor at the McDonough School of Business, George Houston, recognizes the senior attaining the highest academic achievement in the field of accounting. This year, the award goes to two students, Yasaswini Dandu and Yan Ling Lu. After graduation, Yasaswini will work as a consultant at Navigant Consulting in Washington, DC, and Yan Ling will work as an assurance staff at Ernst & Young. The Georgetown University Accounting Society Award for Service and Excellence goes to the students who have demonstrated excellence in their leadership of and in service to undergraduate accounting students. This year's recipients are Abigail Regan Lake and Elizabeth Madison Miriam Morris. After graduation, Abigail will work as an investment research associate at City in New York, while Elizabeth will work as a core assurance professional at PricewaterhouseCoopers in Dallas, Texas. The Hoffman Galasso Family Award is donated by alumna Melissa Hoffman Galasso and goes to the accounting graduate who has made exceptional contributions to the accounting department. This year's Hoffman Galasso Family Award goes to Maria Elizabeth Giaquinto. After graduation, Maria will work as an investment banking analyst at the Bank of Montreal in New York. For excellence in academic achievement and for a positive attitude both in the classroom and more broadly toward the fields of accounting, <laughs> Joshua Goldstein is recognized with the Accounting Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. After graduation, Joshua will work as an insurance staff member at Ernst & Young here in Washington, D.C. Please join me in congratulating all of these outstanding students. It is now my pleasure to welcome Professor Rohan Williamson to the podium to present the Finance Awards. Thank you, Professor Anderson. Will the following graduates please, please come forward and remain on the stage until the finance awards have been completed. Matthew James Gian Gardano, Matthew Murphy McMahon, Pranav Atul Kampani, Lisa Liu, James Andrew Gleason, Ian Jerome Armour, Sydney Grace Goodson, Mexi Wan. The McDonough School of Business Finance Faculty Award for Academic Excellence is the award to Matthew James Gian Gardano. After graduation, Matthew will work as, in, as a technology investment banking analyst at RBC Capital Markets.
The Michael Pissarus Award for Excellence in Investments is given to Matthew Murphy McMahon. After graduation, Matthew will work as an investment banking analyst at UBS in New York. The Center for Financial Markets and Policy Award for Achievement in International Finance is given to Pranav Atul Kampani. After graduation, Pranav will work as an investment banking analyst at Oppenheimer in New York. The Robert and Lauren Steers Award for Excellence in Real Estate Finance is given to James Andrew Gleason. After graduation, James will work as a real estate analyst at Blackstone in New York. The Award for Achievement in Financial Services is given to Sydney Grace Goodson. After graduation, Sydney will work as a capital markets analyst at Freddie Mac. Okay, I skipped one. <laughs> the Award for Achievement in Corporate Finance is presented to Ian Jerome Armour. Ian graduated this winter and is currently working in, as an equity research at Goldman Sachs in New York. The Award for Achievement in Banking is presented to Mexi Wan. Mexi will be pursuing a PhD in economics at Georgetown University. Please join, oh, wait a second. Oh, there it is. Um, <laughs> the Center for Financial Markets and Policy Award for Achievement in Finance is presented to Lisa. <laughs> Lisa Liu. We like to do that with our students. After graduation, Lisa will work as an investment banking analyst at Morgan Stanley in New York. And I've been here a really long time, and I, and I still don't get this right. OK, here we go. All right, Mexi. She was a student of mine. The Award for Achievement in Banking is presented to Mexi Wan. Mexi will be pursuing her PhD at Georgetown, so she'll continue to be a Hoya. So congratulations, Mexi. Please join me in congratulating these outstanding graduates. <laughs> Professor Arthur Dong will now present the International Business Awards. Professor Dong. Thank you, Professor Williamson. Will the following graduates please come forward and remain on stage until the International Business Awards have been completed? Matthew James Gian Giordano, Julia Morgan Dukevich, Sarah Claire Pavlak, Elisa Romano. The Interlink Capital Strategies Corporation has donated an award for outstanding performance in the study of international business. This year's award goes to Matthew James Gian Giordano. <laughs> After graduation, Matthew will work as a technology investment banking analyst at RBC Capital Markets. <clears throat> The Ilka A. Ronkainen Award for International Business and Marketing <clears throat> is given to a student with high academic achievement in both marketing and international business fields. 
This year, the award goes to two students, Julia Morgan Dukevich and Sarah Claire Pavlak. After graduation, Julia will work as a Fulbright English teaching assistant in Hamburg, Germany, and will return to Washington, D.C. to start as an associate at Boston Consulting Group. Sarah will work as a consulting analyst with Accenture based here in Washington, D.C. The International Business Faculty Award for Academic Excellence is awarded to the student who has achieved academic excellence in the classroom and more broadly towards the field of international business. This year's award goes to Elisa Romano. After graduation, Elisa will work as a global transaction analyst at Deutsche Bank in New York. Please join me in congratulating these outstanding international business students. <laughs> Professor Douglas McCabe will now present the Management Area Awards. Thank you, Professor Dong. Will the following graduates please come forward and remain on the stage until the management awards have been completed? Diego Garcia, Colin Joseph Llewellyn, Chad Robert Peterson, Arthur Bernard Calcanini, Darcy Marie Bedford, Aaron Elizabeth Barone, Alexander Glenn Heitzam. The Aleutians Incorporated Award is given to the student who has demonstrated academic excellence in leadership and management studies. This year's award goes to Diego Garcia. After graduation, Diego will work as a wealth management analyst at J.P. Morgan in New York. The NFI Industries Award is given to the student who has achieved academic excellence in management studies. This year's award goes to Colin Joseph Llewellyn. After graduation, Colin will work as an investment banking analyst at Credit Suisse in New York City. The William J. Ussery Award, established to honor the late former director of the Federal Mediation and Conciliation Service and former U.S. Secretary of Labor, is presented to a senior who has achieved excellence in the study of negotiation and mediation. This year's award goes to Chad Robert Peterson. After graduation, Chad will be traveling to Asia and then moving to New York. The William J. Curtin Award, established to honor the late William J. Curtin, former chairman of the Georgetown University Board of Directors, is awarded to the student who has achieved academic excellence in leadership. This year's award goes to Arthur Bernard Calcanini. After graduation, Arthur will move to New York and work in real estate and consulting.
The Swift Glass Company Award is presented to the student who has demonstrated academic excellence in innovation. This year's award goes to Darcy Marie Bedford. After graduation, Darcy will work as category specialist at Walmart e-commerce. The Siraki Award is presented to the student who has demonstrated academic excellence in management studies. This year's award goes to Erin Elizabeth Barone. After graduation, Erin will work as a business de development consultant at Oracle in Austin, Texas. The McDonough School of Business Management Faculty Award for Academic Excellence in Human Capital and Human Resource Management is presented to Alexander Glenn Heitza. After graduation, Alexander will work as an associate at the Volian Group in San Francisco. Please join me in congratulating these outstanding students. Will the following graduates please come forward and remain on stage until the marketing awards have been completed. Michael Gregory Bacon. Andrea Charkas. Sarah Claire Pavlak. And Haley Elizabeth Maher. The Johnny K. Johansson International Marketing Award given to the student with outstanding academic achievement in the study of international marketing is, pre is presented to Michael Gregory Bacon. After graduation, Michael will work as a consulting analyst at Accenture in Washington, DC. The IMAX Marketing Research Award is given to a senior marketing major who has performed at a level of excellence in marketing research coursework. This year's recipient is Andrea Charkas. After graduation, Andrea will work as a credit and client services analyst with Macy's in Phoenix. The IMAX Marketing Scholar Award is given to the senior marketing major who has demonstrated the highest level of scholastic achievement in the study of marketing. This year's recipient is Sarah Claire Pavlak. After graduation, Sarah will work as a consulting analyst with Accenture in Washington, DC. The final marketing award is the McDonough School of Business Marketing Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. This year's recipient is Haley Elizabeth Maher. After graduating, Haley will be working for Revolver, a branding agency in New York City.
Please join me in congratulating these outstanding students. Induction into the Alpha Mu Alpha Honor Society acknowledges outstanding achievement in marketing on a highly competitive basis. This year's graduating seniors inducted into the Alpha Mu Alpha Honor Society can be found in the program. Will the newest members of Alpha Mu Alpha, the National Honor Society in the field of marketing, please stand to be recognized. Please join me in congratulating the newest members of Alpha Mu Alpha. In the area of operations and information management, Professor Betsy Sigman will now recognize those students who have distinguished themselves in both academics and service. Thank you, Professor Scuba. Will the following graduates please come forward and remain on stage until the OPM awards have been completed? Nina Chang. Ian Jerome Armour, Lucia Moradian, The Deloitte Award for Operations and Information Management is given to the student who has shown service and high academic achievement in the area of operations and information management. This year's award goes to Nina Chang. After, gra after graduation, Nina will work as a financial markets advisory analyst at BlackRock in New York. The Price Waterhouse Coopers Award for Service and Scholarship in Operations and Information Management is awarded to the student for his or her extensive level of service to the discipline of operations in combination with high scholarship. This year's award goes to Ian Jerome Armour. Ian is currently working with Goldman Sachs in equity research. The McDonough School of Business, Operations, and Information Management Faculty Award for Academic Excellence is awarded to Lucia Meradian. After graduation, Lucia will work as a fixed income analyst at Citigroup in New York. Please join me in congratulating these outstanding students. Fifteen graduating students have been inducted into Omega Rho, the Scholastic Honor Society for Operations Research and Management Science. Their names can be found in your programs. Will the inductees of Georgetown University's Omega Rho Honor Society, please stand to be recognized. Thank you for joining me in congratulating the newest members of Omega Rho. Dean Grant, this concludes the recognition of academic achievements within the school's majors. Thank you, Professor Sigmund. It is now my honor and pleasure, pleasure to recognize the students who have distinguished themselves academically and have given of themselves in service to others. 
Our first award is in honor of Reverend Joseph S. Seabees of the Society of Jesus and the founder of the undergraduate business program at Georgetown University. A Hungarian Jesuit with a Harvard doctorate in Far Eastern Studies, Father Seabees championed the founding of the business school and served as its first regent and acting director from 1964 to 1966. In 1979, the business school established the Father Joseph Seabees Award to be presented to a member of the graduating class who has made a significant overall contribution to the welfare and reputation of the school. This year, the award is presented to David Toledo for his extraordinary dedication to improving the McDonough student community. During his time at McDonough, David has advocated for first generation low-income college students at Georgetown and McDonough School of Business in his role as peer mentor and president and wellness chair of Georgetown Scholars Program Student Board. Upon graduation, David will work as an associate account strategist at Google in Ann Arbor, Michigan. David, thank you for your service to McDonough. Would you please come forward to accept your award? The next award is the Otmar Winkler Award, which was established in 1993 by the Winkler family through the initiative of Dr. James P. Winkler and his wife, Mary. I would like to invite Dr. Otmar Winkler, Emeritus Professor from Georgetown's McDonough School of Business, to join me in presenting the award for this year's recipient. The Otmar W. Winkler Award honors graduating seniors who have distinguished themselves by demonstrating a strong concern for others and the less privileged, especially in the Washington DC community. This award is given in the hope that future business leaders among our graduates will be inspired to balance the demands of profitability of their enterprise with a caring attitude for all who will depend on them. It is with great pleasure that we present the Otmar W. Winkler Award to Daphne Chang and Jerome De Aris Smalls. Daphne and Jerome, would you please join us on stage to accept your award? As they're coming, let me tell you a little bit about them. During her time as an accounting major and Chinese minor, Daphne Chang has distinguished herself through her tremendous impact on the Washington, D.C. community. Daphne has worked as a site coordinator at St. Luke's in assisting community tax aid in the development of a new and free tax filing site in Ward 7. Here, she worked with high school volunteers to help tax filers complete their taxes more efficiently. Daphne has also co-chaired Hoya Taxa, where she'd, she helped to provide free income tax assistance to low-income families and individuals in the Washington, Washington D.C. and Virginia communities. As a marketing major and African-American studies minor, Jerome Deair Smalls has distinguished himself through his tremendous impact on children in Washington, D.C. Jerome has worked with the After School Kids, or ASK, program in order to provide tutoring to teens and young adults who have been involved in the D.C. court system. Jerome has also worked as a Patrick Healy Fellow to build their first ever brand strategy to help build awareness of the group's efforts as a social justice organization here on Georgetown's campus. He also led the planning and organizing of their annual professional development retreat. In addition, Jerome founded Small Talk LLC, which leads to provide professional development training to over 200 teachers and educators so they can better understand and connect with their students via storytelling and a culturally relevant curriculum. For these and so many other reasons, Daphne and Jerome are awarded the Otmar W. Winkler Award for 2019.
Let me add a few words to this. Both open their hearts to the less advantaged children and youngsters outside of Georgetown in the district. They did this in addition to being excellent students with a full load of studies. They did not know that at the end of four years there would be an award for being a good person. <laughs> Both owe much to their parents. They fostered, inspired, guided them to who they are now. I would like to have both parents stand up and be recognized. as if an afterthought. Most of you would not be here and receive an award if it had not been for your parents, <laughs> your guidance that they, you received in patience, in generosity for all of this. And you owe your parents a, rouse of, a, 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 a round of applause for being your parents and you being here now. And thank you all, parents and friends, to assist and accompany your award-winning uh, seniors. Thank you, Professor Winkler. The last student award is the Undergraduate Dean's Award, which recognizes a graduating senior in the McDonough School of Business who's made the most significant overall contribution in the area of social enterprise or social entrepreneurship, either in the local or global community. This year's recipient of the Undergraduate Dean's Award is Alexander Glenn Heinze. Will you please approach the stage? During his time at Georgetown University, Alexander has participated in many socially conscious endeavors. He founded Georgetown University Eating Society, reflecting his own entrepreneurial spirit. This society focuses on social impact work, fundraising for Whole Kids Foundation and Martha's Table. Alexander also pioneered the Food Entrepreneurship Series, working with the Georgetown University Eating Society and Startup Hoyas. Together, they brought food entrepreneurs from the Washington DC area to campus to share their experiences of starting their own businesses. His first year at Georgetown, Alex also founded Finance, a short publication for financial news through Startup Hoyas. It is for these efforts and many others that he's awarded the 2019 Undergraduate Dean's Award. Three students from the class of 2019 have received the Lena Landegger Community Service Award during their time with Georgetown University. This award honors Georgetown undergraduates who have voluntarily committed to serve those in need in the many communities in which Georgetown is a part. Will the following students please stand and be recognized? Luis David Rosales Rivas, Jerome Deers Smalls, and David Toledo. Thank you. We will now recognize those students who have been honored by induction into National Academic Honor Societies. Six members of the class of 2019 have been inducted into Alpha Sigma Nu. 
the Jesuit Honor Society for loyalty, scholarship, and service. Their names are listed in the program. Will the following students please stand and be recognized? Nina Chang, Patrick Francis Foley Jr., Maria Elizabeth Giaquinto, Alex Glenn Heinze, Mary Joy Kozak, Mark Alexander Tremogli. <laughs> 33 members of the class of 2019 have been inducted into Beta Gamma Sigma, the International Business Honor Society. Their names are listed in the program and can be recognized by the blue and gold cords that they wear. Will these students please rise together and be recognized? One student from the class of 2019 has been inducted into Dobro Slovo, the National Slavic Honor Society, recognizing those students who have achieved outstanding scholarship in the study of Slavic languages, literature, history, and culture. Will the following student please stand and be recognized? Larissa Elaine Pollock. One student from the class of 2019 has been inducted into Phi Alpha Theta, the National History Honor Society that recognizes those students who've achieved outstanding scholarship in the field of history. Would the following student stand and be recognized? Alexander John Sideropoulos. The following students will be receiving their diplomas with highest honors, summa cum laude. This honor is for those students graduating in the top 5% of their class who have achieved a grade point average of 3.881 or above. Please come forward as I call your names and receive a certificate to acknowledge this outstanding achievement. Please remain on stage until all the names have been called. First, I'd like to welcome Nicholas Peter Aquino. Next, Henry Fitzgerald Conan, Yasasweeney Dandu, Julia Morgan Dukowitz, Matthew James Giangiardano, Maria Elizabeth Giaquinto, Joshua Harris Goldstein. Lisa Liu, Yan Ling Liu, Matthew Murphy McMahon, Next, I'd like to welcome Nikhil Krishan Mindarada, Toby Daniel Nelson, Anisha Ganesh Pai, Alexander John Sideropoulos, Evan Jacob Steinman, Justin Mitchell Summers, 
Mexi Wan, Selena Zhizhao Wang, and Sophia Catherine Wibble. Okay, now, please, again, join me in congratulating these outstanding students. Now we will recognize those students graduating in the top 15% of their class with a grade point average between 3.753 and 3.872. They will be receiving their diplomas with the honor of magna cum laude. Their names can be found in your program. I invite those students to please stand as a group and be recognized now. Congratulations. Those students graduating in the top 25% of their class with a grade point average between 3.657 and 3.752 will be receiving their diplomas with the honor of cum laude. Their names can be found in your program. I invite those students to please stand together now and be recognized. Dean Almeida, will you please join me in recognizing the salutatorian and valedictorian of the class of 2019? Yasaswini Dandu and Selena Wang, please, will you join me on the stage? Each year, the McDonough School of Business presents the Salutatorian Award to the graduating senior in recognition of outstanding academic achievement in the field of business with the second highest grade point average in the class. With a GPA of 3.952, the Salutatorian of the class of 2019 is Yasa Dandu. The Valedictorian Award and Dean's Medal goes to the graduating senior in recognition of outstanding achievement in the field of business with the highest grade point average in the graduating class. With a GPA of 3.955, the Valedictorian of the class of 2019 is Selena Wong. And now Selena will say a few words on behalf of the class of 2019. Thank you, Dean Grant. Friends, families, professors, 
and most importantly, the class of 2019. It's my great joy to be here with you and to have spent the past four years with this incredible community. In high school, we call this time graduation, but now in college, it's called commencement. The literal definition of commencement is a beginning or a start. And while this may be the end of our time at Georgetown, it is the launch of a new chapter in our lives. Armed with what we've learned and how we've grown over these years, I'm excited to see what each of us will do. But while the class of 2019's future looks bright, I want to spend my brief remarks today reflecting on the past. During the last four years, just about every week, I would talk to my grandmother in Harbin, a city in China. And while she did not know the minutia of college life, in America, she consistently gave me the best advice. I'm incredibly fortunate to have not had to face the hardship and trials of some of the speakers from convocation yesterday. But my grandmother was always there to remind me about what mattered most. And that's your family, your friends, your values, and all those who support you in life. I distinctly remember calling her last year when I did something a little stupid. And by the way, I haven't told my parents about this, so <laughs> something new for them too. I was going to Quebec for a conference that I helped plan, and I was really excited. Never been to Canada before, and we were getting a tour of Bombardier's assembly site. I was going to get to meet up with some old friends, and it was going to be a good time. But I forgot one small thing. I forgot my passport. <laughs> I got to the airport, and I did not get on a plane, and I did not go to Canada. It's hard at the moment to just not be angry at yourself or be frustrated. It's hard, not, it's hard to understand why missing a conference or a flight is just not a life-changing mistake. But that's why I'm lucky to have people like my grandmother who can really remind me about what's important and what matters. She kept me grounded and lifted my spirits when I needed her more. My grandmother passed away five days ago, but her indomitable presence is why I'm here today, along with the love of my parents, my little brother, and my friends. We are all incredibly lucky to be graduating from a place as special as this, to be in just a few short hours, listening to Dean Grant read our names, walking across the stage to shake President DeJoya's hand, and accepting our scroll from Dean Almeida. But we are here today because of those who have supported us along the way. It didn't just start in high school. It didn't start in college. We are all beneficiaries of so many important figures who have touched our lives. Those that ignited our torches in the fire within. Whether it was your fifth grade science teacher who sparked your love of biology, or your freshman year roommate who somehow still puts up with you after four years. Thanks, Libby. Someone else has taken an interest in your future, a stake in your life, and a role in your history. So now the torch is in our hands. And the best way we can show our gratitude is to be that champion for someone else. After graduation, we are all headed to different parts of the country, and some of us to different parts of the world. But wherever we go, wherever we end up, whatever our profession is, our shared experience at Georgetown demands us to pay our luck forward. So I say to you now, with torch in hand, go forth 
and set the world on fire. Thank you. Thank you, Selena. I'd like to congratulate all of you on your accomplishments during your time at Georgetown and wish you the best as you embark on your careers. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Vice Dean of the McDonough School of Business, Dr. Pietro Rivoli. Dr. Rivoli will present the awards to faculty members who have distinguished themselves during the 2018-2019 academic year in the areas of research, teaching, and service. Dean Rivoli. Thank you, Dean Grant. Okay. The Dean's Distinguished Service Award is given annually to a faculty member for extraordinary contributions to our community. For his many contributions to our undergraduate program, this year's award goes to Professor Michael O'Leary. I would now like to announce four awards for my faculty colleagues who are not with us today. Okay. The Faculty Research Award for Outstanding Contributions in Research and Publication is given to Professor Raining Patachi. The Joseph Lemoyne Award for Teaching Excellence is given to Professor Stanley Nolan, who is retiring this year after 47 years of exceptional teaching. The Peter Gonzalez Award for Excellence in Adjunct Teaching is given to Professor Jay Wright. And finally, an award selected by our students, the Academic Council Student Choice Award is given to Professor Ronnie Goodstein. Now it is my great honor to introduce my colleague and the Dean of the McDonough School of Business, Dr. Paul Almeida. So congratulations, everyone. When I joined Georgetown 24 years ago, uh, yes, that was before you were born, <laughs> I, they asked me, do you want to go to, a trip to Tripaya? I had never heard the word Tripaya before. I thought they were going to treat me to an exotic cocktail. So I said, yes, of course. <laughs> and then when they made me dress in these, you know, silly hat and uh, all, uh, all these garments, I said, this is a, maybe it's a costume party. <laughs> but no, Tripaya is about celebration. And we have so much to celebrate. Just think about, first of all, you got into Georgetown, which I hear is not easy from all the letters I get from parents who didn't get, kids get in, <laughs> telling me how bad we are at admissions. Uh, but you got into Georgetown and you survived our curve, which I've heard a lot about. Uh, you survived all the different clubs, which you have to, I believe, are hard to get into. I've had two kids here who kept getting rejected. Uh, and you've survived all the challenges of the faculty, uh, you know, have thrown to you, and you've excelled. And so in some ways, I want to hate you because you kind of intimidate me, <laughs> but I can't. I think you've achieved so much. I know how challenging it is. You should really just take this moment to congratulate yourselves. You know, pat yourselves on the back. I can't do that anymore. I'm 55 years old, so it's a bit <laughs> difficult. But seriously, 
embrace this moment because you have achieved a lot. So congratulations again to all of you. And following uh, Professor Winkler, who, by the way, is 95 and still shows up here. Thank you. I'd like to congratulate the parents, your families, your well-wishers. Uh, you paid the bill in multiple ways. Uh, you supported your kids. You've encouraged them. And I know more than them, you are proud, and you are thankful for this day in many ways. And I know you believe in your kids more than sometimes they believe in themselves. And you've been an important part of Georgetown and will always be an important part of Georgetown. So thank you all so much. And my faculty colleagues and my staff colleagues at Georgetown, uh, we, we enjoy our jobs. And the reason we enjoy our jobs, because, you know, every organization has some complexities and some challenges, but we enjoy our jobs because we enjoy each other, and most of all, we feel we're trying to make a difference to the world, and the difference to the world, to the world is through you. And for that reason, I'm so grateful to be a part of the faculty and a part of the administration here with colleagues like this. They really care. They care about you like I've never seen anywhere else. So just let's uh, thank my faculty and staff colleagues as well. So uh, when I uh, interviewed at Georgetown 24 five years ago. Uh, it was my eighth of 10 interviews or ninth of 10 interviews. You know, you interview at various schools. It takes a long time. It's one and a half day long. Uh, and I went through all these other schools, and everyone talked about my research and my intellect and whether I was doing great stuff. And that's great. And I came to Georgetown. And yes, they talked about my research and my papers and conferences I'd present at. But they also did something that no other school had done up to then. They talked about learning, and they talked about students. And they, I even had, they had students interview me over here. No other school had done that. And I said, this is a school that really cares about learning. And the other thing that came out, which was so different from everyone else, was Georgetown talked about community. Everyone talked about community. And I thought, Georgetown has really good PR, which <laughs> is not true. <laughs> but we do have a great community. And when I thought about this, I th was thinking to myself, learning. And you know, I've got multiple degrees because the wo real world didn't want me, so I had to stay in academia. <laughs> and when I cast myself back in time, I don't remember very many classes. Seriously, or even courses, you know. But I remember one class from my civics class when I was in seventh grade. And it was taught by a priest called Father Schock. He was Schweizer Deutsch. And he said, guess what? No readings, nothing. You have to write nothing in class. Wouldn't you love the guy, you know, <laughs> come to class? Do you have a few classes like that? You do? Wow. Uh, <laughs> And he said, I'm just going to do experiments. And I remember one of the experiments was very simple. We had to uh, just dress up in our regular blazers and ties, uh, go with one of our family members. I think my grandmother came with me, take some money, go to a five-star hotel, and say, I want a room. You know. And of course, we booked the room. And then he said, now I want you to dress up as a villager. This was back home in Goa in India. And I had to wear my kurta and pajama in a local uh, dress. I remember having to put dirt underneath my nails. My grandmother was horrified. Uh, we weren't allowed to speak in English. We had to speak in the local language, which was Konkani. 
And instead of grandmothers or parents, I had to take a local villager, his name was Don Diba, I still remember. And I remember we had to hold his hand and I remember feeling how calloused his hands were. And then with the same money, we tried to book the same hotel room. And guess what? Most of us didn't succeed. And that little lesson, fragment of all my learning, is actually much more than that. I learned that I have to keep seeing the world from different eyes. I have to learn how to walk in other people's shoes. I have to learn really much more about who we are, who I am, and what's my community. I have to learn continuously where can I make a difference. And all those memories came flooding back to me when I came to Georgetown. And I said, I have to be here. Because yes, there's academic excellence, which is really important, but we have a mission. We have a mission continuously across our lives to make a difference to the world. And I said, I want to be a part of that mission. That's why I'm here 24 years later. But that's why I'm proud of you. Because we are not really going to do that much ourselves. But think about you, soon to be alumni, over 100,000, nearly 200,000 of you spread around the world. How powerful we can be. My dad always to say, look after yourself. That's really important because otherwise it's hard to look after anyone else. But don't stop there. I know you won't. I know you're going to deal with lots of challenges. But keep learning. Keep putting yourself in new situations. Keep trying to view the world in different ways. Keep trying to walk in other people's shoes. And the best way to do it is in a community. You have this wonderful community of Hoyas out there who are going to look after you. So look after each other. Help each other in difficult times and in good times. Keep in touch. Hang out at all those bars in Manhattan downtown that my <laughs> son says is a part of being a Hoya. <laughs> but seriously, if we keep to this goal of continuously learning across time when the world keeps changing, but we're anchored by a community and values, we can do wonderful things for ourselves and the world. And that's why I keep saying we can be both the best in the world and the best for the world. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dean Almeida, for your remarks. I would like to once more congratulate all of you on your success. This concludes the 2019 Drapaya Ceremony of the McDonough School of Business. All are enjoyed are invited to join the faculty and administrators for a reception under the tent just outside the Rafiq B. Hariri building immediately following this ceremony. Please remain in place until all those on stage and all of the graduates have recessed. Now, please stand for the benediction to be offered by the rabbi bearer and remain standing as the faculty and students recess. As our graduates set off into the world pursuing dreams and learning new skills, I hope that they will remember the words of the psalmist. Limnot yamenu ken hoda venavi levav chokma. Teach us to count our days rightly that we may obtain a wise heart. And so we pray. Divine voice of reason and love of compassion and understanding, we are overflowing with gratitude for the inspiration, mentorship, and security that is this Georgetown community. When doubt or anxiety surface in this and in all times, speak gently and clearly so that we may hear you. Give us the patience to listen and the desire to seek 
Grant us the understanding to hear your teachings in every voice from all people in every moment of need. Open our hearts to others, to their suffering, to their call for help. Open our hearts to love and laughter, song and dance, beauty and grace, so that we remember to celebrate your gifts day by day. Teach us to hold our joys and our sorrows gently in our hands and to honor them both. Teach us to be present to all that we see and all that we feel in truth, without fear. Teach us to be present for others in humble service. Blessed are you, teacher and guide. You make wisdom known to those who ask and those who listen willingly and patiently to the voices of your creation. Amen. <clears throat>